we're going to express a radical in simplified form. How about the square root of 150? The trick to doing this is to remember that the index is 2. On a square root, we don't normally write it, but there it is. 2 is the index. Take 150 and break it down as far as you can into its prime factors. 15 times 10. Those aren't prime, of course. They could break down more. 15 breaks down into 3 times 5. And 10 breaks down into 2 times 5. So 150 equals 3 times 5 times 2 times 5. And if I write those in order, I can say that 150 equals 2 times 3 times 5 times 5. Now here is where the index comes into it. The index 2 means that I'm looking for a number that repeats twice. 5 times 5. I take that number 5 and I write it on the outside of the square root radical. I make the radical sign and then I write what's left, the 2 times 3, which we know is 6. 5 times the square root of 6 is the answer. As with most activities in math, there's another way to work the problem that might be easier. Let's take the square root of 150 divided by x. And I'm not going to graph it. Instead, I'm going to look at the points. Second, graph. Notice here is our answer. 5 is the only number that doesn't have a lot of decimal places. 5 is the number that goes on the outside of the radical. 6 is the number that stays inside. The reason for that is that if you divide 6 into 150, remember that's what we're doing, we're dividing x into 150, and we're taking the square root of that number, if x is 6, then 150 divided by 6 is 25, and the square root of 25 is 5. So, Five comes out, five comes out of the radical, and six stays in. And that's the whole story.